In these problems, we are factoring a difference of squares. And remember, a difference of squares is two chunks that you can take the square root of separated by a minus sign. If you've got that, you've got a difference of squares. In these problems, we have more than one variable, but that's okay. We can still apply the same rules as long as we can take the square root of each of these chunks. In this first one, u squared, the square root of that is pretty easy. That's just u. In this one, we have a number part and a variable part, but that's okay. We can take the square root of both those parts and put them together. So the square root of 36 is 6, and the square root of w squared is w. So we have our two chunks. That's our a and our b, u and 6w, and we just put them together in this form. So u plus 6w times u minus 6w. Let's try one more. This one looks slightly more complicated. On the left, we've got y squared, x squared, and then after our minus sign, we've got 25. Well, I know how to take the square root of 25. That's just 5. How do I take the square root of y squared, x squared? Well, just take the square root of each of these parts and put it together. So the square root of y squared is y, and the square root of x squared is x. If you're not sure that that's the case, try squaring that. You'll end up with this again. So now we've got our two pieces. We can put them together in that form. So we've got yx plus 5 times yx minus 5. So that is a little bit of work with factoring a difference of squares.